Hi guys, welcome back to X and Yun channel. This video is to outline the pros and cons of investing in the exchange traded funds, in short, ETF. ETF is to mirror the performance of index funds such as the S&P 500, STI or index fund in certain country or industry. Some of the big ETF companies are Vanguard, iShare, State Street Spider, Invesco and Charles Schwab. What are the advantages of investing in ETF? The first is the diversification. ETF gives exposure to more companies and industry. Beginner can start with ETF before diving in to individual stocks. As we may not have the time to analyze the annual report of every single company and keep updated with the latest earning announcement or news. Even Warren Buffett said in the Berkshire Hathaway AGM, for most people, the best thing to do is to own the S&P 500 index. He even instructed his trustee to invest 90% of his money into the index fund given the uncertainty in the market. This strategy worked very well for the past 30 years. If you invest in S&P 10 years ago, your return on investment is already more than 220%. Indeed, it outperformed most of the actively managed funds. Second, lower investment capital. Popular stocks can be overpriced and very expensive. Look at Amazon. It is trading at more than $3,000. Before the stock split in August, Apple was trading at more than $200 per stock, and it has reached $2 trillion in terms of market cap in the American stock market history. As a retail investor, if you wish to capture the potential of these companies, ETF is an alternative at a lower cost. ETF price is currently ranging from $30 to $300 depending on the ETF companies. If you do the calculation, if I'm to buy one Apple stock at $100 now, one Johnson & Johnson stock at $140, and one Visa stock at $200. I need to have $440 to get exposure in these three industries, which is the IT, healthcare, and financial sectors. So it is more worthwhile if I invest to ETF compared to buying three different stocks if my aim is to get more exposure in the US economy. Third, minimal fee compared to actively managed funds. ETF is actually a passive investing strategy the expense ratio is ranging from 0.03% to 0.09%. In comparison to the actively managed funds, we are required to pay annual management fee to the fund managers to pick and monitor the fund's performance, which is ranging from 3 to 5% per annum. What are the disadvantages of investing in ETF? First, lower upside potential. Compared to high growth stock such as Tesla, Amazon, or some IPO stocks, which price can double, triple, or it become tenfold in short period of time. Index fund historically produce an average return at 7% per annum. If we only depend on ETF strategy, we may end up losing good opportunity to own some good stocks in the long run. Consider we invest in a basket of 500 stocks. Some good stocks outperform the market while most stock may not, and we end up getting the average return due to lack of focus and too much diversification in the funds. Second, lack of control. As we know, ETF is to mirror the index fund. Sometimes, the weightage and the companies in the index fund changes over time. That means our portfolio will also change. This is totally out of our control. We like it or not, if we buy a basket of stocks, we are not allowed to pick single stocks or choose a bigger portion of our favorite companies. In short, ETF is a wise choice for people who prefer passive buy and hold investing strategy at a lower cost. The main benefit is the diversification that we can get more exposure to more different industry. At the same time, it is also the reason of getting an average return. ETF strategy is proven to work very well for the past 30 years. During economy uncertainty like now, it may be a good opportunity to bet on a country economy or it may be a good time to bet on certain industry. We may not know. 
Thank you for watching this. Do comment below to share your views, subscribe to our channel and give us a like to support this channel. See you again next week.